Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and this is my first impression slash review for Volgar the Viking, which is the free game of gold on Xbox One this November. So, this game looks like it's just a regular 16-bit platformer, like uh, any other indie game, but in reality, it actually has a whole lot going for it that makes it a very weird and unique game I definitely recommend you stick around for. So, uh, the the most, the, you know, the biggest one is the fact that it's one of the, you know, more insanely difficult games that I've ever played, uh, especially on Xbox One, it might even be the most difficult game available right now. Uh, it has a difficulty curve which just goes from, okay, the game's being pretty easy, to, oh god, I'm dead. So, <laughs> if that's the sort of thing you like in the game, this game is perfect for you. And in fact, uh, like, I was even, uh, usually for my Games of Gold uh, review stuff, I usually go about, you know, somewhere in the middle of the game so I can show you actual gameplay, but this game gets serious on you right from moment one, and... <laughs> <laughs> There's something brilliant and also kind of concerning about that at the same time. Like, uh, you know, level, level World 1 is almost as difficult as World 2. Like, it, it starts as hard as it will probably, you know, almost as hard as it gets. Which is interesting to say the least. Because as I went into the game, I had no idea about that fact. And I just, you know, kind of went into it thinking, oh, okay, then. So this is a platform. Uh, why am I so bad at platforms all of a sudden? But in reality, the game is just meant to be very difficult. At least that's, <laughs> that's the theory I have so far. Um, it is a brand new game. And... That means that there's pretty much nothing to find about about it right now. So, yeah, hopefully this video helps you if you're looking it up. Because, again, it's a brand new game. you got to see what's going on, right? Uh, I do the exact same thing. But, yeah, so um, the game is very, very difficult. Which means that even me showing you the first level actually shows you, like, the first maybe, like, an hour, maybe two hours of, uh, like, play for me. And there's something kind of weird about that fact to me. Like... The first level of the game uh, took me like two hours to learn how to beat. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds like your sort of game, then of course, as, as I just said like four times, this game is kind of perfect. So uh, yeah, its biggest strength, in my opinion, is its difficulty, and that's also its biggest weakness because although the game is fairly you know easy to learn, uh, for some people, I can imagine just being stuck on the same part over and over again is very frustrating. And even for me, that is very frustrating. I don't want to be stuck on the same thing over and over again. Uh, but in reality, the game is all of oh wait, let's. Uh, Let's show you a quick uh, pro tip. So every monster has their weakness, and it's all about learning how to use them. So if they're going off that spider, which would lunge at me, I could just uh, attack it with the thing right there. So it's actually a up that I'm going to try and deal with. Uh, hopefully we'll get this just right. So there we go. <laughs> uh, the game is all about a little bit of platforming and a lot a bit of uh, actually dealing with enemies. So uh, there's a lot of different unique enemy types. They vary from level to level, and they all have their own little weaknesses. So uh, for instance, the bees, uh, they fly in the air. They're pretty easy to kill from a distance. The uh, lizard people you'll be seeing, uh, if you do if you crouch and get them, they'll only be able to attack your shield because they're just bad at attacking. Uh, the spiders, for instance, you just get them from a distance. They're gone in one hit. And these big things, uh, you just have to learn where their projectiles go and then avoid them. So, uh, right here, for instance. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> so that's not me learning at all. That's quite the opposite of learning. But you get the basic gist, I hope. In fact, I'm going to go back and uh, actually uh, deal with it just to, just to get my uh, you know pride back. So, as you can see, its projectiles go there. So I should be entirely safe from here. At least, yep, that's the theory. So... That allows me to get this handy little chalice. And uh, you might be noticing I've been collecting coins this entire time. So coins are kind of the system of, uh, you know, score. You don't, if you just want to get through the game, which, honestly, that's my uh, first objective. You don't need them for anything. They're just a nice way to say you did good. But <laughs> in reality, what you need to be caring about way more than that, I was trying to hit with my double jump attack. Uh, what you need to be caring about way more than that is... Um, the chest you find throughout the map because your first chest gets you a uh, you know a better shield so it means it can take unlimited attacks which is of course always great uh, your second chest gets you a helmet which means you can take one more hit of damage so instead of just two uh, you know you can take a full three which is you know in a game like this it's a lot better than it sounds um, and then your your one after that gives you the flaming sword, which is of course always awesome because more attacks, more better, right? So as you can see, this is my first chest. I get a wooden shield. My second chest, a stone shield, etc., etc. Um, so just jump over this gap here. The game is very, very hev uh, heavily focused on like platforming challenges. So um, having a like pressing the left trigger and zooming out is a very, very handy trip to learn. Uh, uh, you know. The very early on because as you can see stuff is very very out to get you and being able to see it from further away is useful uh, so that was my first checkpoint just there and that kind of sums up just why the game is so difficult because even though in video form it only took me four minutes to do in reality you know uh, like completing a level is a 
very arduous task. Like, it takes a lot of doing, uh, to say the very least. And uh, having to respawn at the start of each level every time you die, it's it gets on you after a little bit. So, uh, yeah, this is my uh, Mega Shield now. It also allows me to do this uh, Shield Charge attack, and that's always cool, right? So, ah. Uh... Uh, as you can see, just gotta get past some traps. Um, the game slowly starts to layer more and more stuff on you, so in addition to all the enemies I had before, so I've got the bee from before, I've got the tarantula, uh, there's also these uh, spikes that come from the wall. So these can be blocked by the shield if I get them at the right angle, or I could just avoid them altogether like this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and apparently not like that. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the game gets very, very challenging, very, very quickly. And uh, it starts to really just like glare enemies on you. So here's one of those big, you know, annoying things. And here's a red lizard who just punched me right in the groin. <laughs> uh, so yeah, death it really is as fast as that. You make the tiniest of mistakes and you're dead. Uh, if I had to compare it to something, it really feels like a 2D Dark Souls. <laughs> Which uh, I guess Dark Souls might be like a 2D platforming game like this. But yeah, it really gets the difficulty curve just right in my opinion, but to talk about other things then, the biggest downside besides the difficulty, which I think is an upside, but of course everyone has their own opinion on that, uh, is probably the fact that the game, honestly there's something annoying to me about, you know, Xbox One games that look, I uh, like, I don't know, the platforming genre, it's fine if you want to make a platformer, but why pretend to make a 16-bit one? That's, that's something that's always irked me about games, like if you have the horsepower there, might as well try and use it, right? Uh, but you know, art style or whatever, ooh, okay, yeah, that was just perfect, and now we don't lose our shield this time, so that means we can still do our supercharge attacks, so yeah, that's what it's useful. Um, so yeah, as I said before, uh, you get, even at your maximum, you can take free hits, but in reality, you still don't want to be able to, there we go, see that perfect uh, off-screen hit? <laughs> but in reality, you still don't want to be able to, you know, you, you don't want to be uh, taking any hits, because you lose your flaming sword after your first hit, you lose your uh, supercharge attack after your second, and yeah, it, it means getting hit is actually a, something that makes the game difficult, which is always unique at the very least. So hopefully, yep, yeah, this is our helmet, and now we're just one thing away from the golden sword and being fully decked out. So. Uh, another little pro tip is uh, if you have your shield to your back when you're climbing a wall, you can't get hit by stuff. Always just a useful thing to do. So here's a big little maze thing that I'm going to have to be very careful of the enemies for. Uh, you'll notice there's three types of lizards, by the way. Uh, what, that, what that actually means is, uh, I believe, whoa, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, the red type is, uh, it, it means he can take three hits, and let's just go this way up. <laughs> They're all jumping down after me. <laughs> Yeah, the red lizards can take three hits, the blue lizards can take two hits, and the green ones can take just one. They all have the same basic attack formula, you just duck to avoid them, really. It's it's quite simple. Uh, and let's hope we don't... Yeah, we... Oh, jeez. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. The spears can also be used as platforms, as you've probably deducted by now. And I think this gives us our golden sword. Uh, so yeah, this is the first, uh, the second half of the first level. The game has just seven levels, which I think, I'm not sure if that's a weakness or not, because uh, in reality, the game takes the same amount of time as if it did have more levels than that, because, you know, I, as I said, I spent just, I spent more than an hour on this first level alone, so even, you know, seven levels could give me more than seven hours worth of gameplay, plus there's going back into that and stuff, and, you know, there's something unique to be said about that. I guess that's the second benefit of having a difficult game. It will last you a lot longer. Um, so, strength the game has besides that, it's, it it definitely feels a little bit weird. Uh, I, I'd say that's actually a weakness, like, because uh, the game's trying to emulate some old platformers, you can't really change your direction mid-air, which, honestly, it feels like a relic-type deal. Like, you don't want to have a flaw like that. So, uh, like, you can change your direction using the double jump, but, like, if you're jumping, like, in mid-air, you can't move to the right while you're jumping like this. And, I uh, know, I kind of want to move to the left right now, for instance. Like, you have to be jumping to the right from the beginning, or the left, or whatever, or you, you can't just do it mid-air, which, it's, it's kind of sucks to me. <laughs> uh, I think that's, like, that used to be a limitation that just used to happen before. I think it was uh, the Mario games that stopped that, and I don't know why you'd bring it back in on purpose. <laughs> like, it's it's not a benefit to the game. It's 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 something that annoys me, but that's just me, personally. Uh, let's get this tarantula here, and here's a bonus chest, by the way. So, this is the second time I've done this, but there's actually some bonus chests in the level you can go for, so... Uh, just down here, uh, down this rope, was where I was before, and instead of going that way, I went the long way round, and I got rewarded with this nice helmet. So yeah, big risk, big reward, always useful. So this is gonna be challenging, to say the least, so I guess I've gotta look at the timing just right, so... Come on, can I do this? Okay, let's do this. Oh, no! <laughs> Apparently I can't get the timing just right, but there is another chest here to reward me for my efforts, so... Oh! Okay. 
We're coming close to the end of the level now, and uh, I really hope to show like the scale of the boss battles because I really like how the boss battles are done in this game. Ooh, oh jeez. <laughs> Okay, there we go, we got the bee gotten rid of, and now we should be able to get rid of the snake too. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to charge a shot down there. <laughs> and yeah, this this charge shot is probably, if you could use it all the time, you would. I mean, it's it's very, very handy. And uh, let's kill the snake now. Easy as that. <laughs> so we've got 536 of these coins, uh, if I haven't mentioned already. They're just a way of keeping score, really. They're not necessary. I, I wouldn't recommend them too much. And yeah, here is the first boss, which really starts to show how the game can be difficult, but still be fair at the same time. Because I don't like final bosses that rely on you to know something that isn't intuitive. Whereas this boss, it's just feel facial stuff, attack him in the head, and let's get away from him now. Oh, jeez. Oh, and we've lost our helmet. So that's never a good thing. We'll just wait for him to do another attack. Yeah, he has very predictable attacks the whole way through, uh, and that's something in the uh, you know platforming games that I've never. Oh, wow, I am not doing a good job here at all. Uh, that's something in platforming games I've never truly liked. To be totally honest, oh god damn it! <laughs> to be totally honest with you, I think I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. <laughs> so yeah, I, I messed up the boss there, and as a result, I go all the way back here. So I'm sure you, uh, I, I have no doubt you can see how this game can get really frustrating, but really rewarding really quickly, and. Wow, that's a new attack. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed my little first impression review thing. The game is very difficult, so don't judge me on all the little deaths I missed. I'm sure when you play the game, you realize that, you know, even what I did was even pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm just making mistakes on purpose now. Um, I, if you did enjoy it, you can like it. Let me know. Uh, this is a brand new game, so I definitely recommend you give it a download because uh, it's always cool to see free new games. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I do one of these every like every time there's a new free game of gold. So I definitely recommend subscribing if you're new around here to keep up with them. Thank you for watching the video, and here is an outro.